There's nothing worse than spending hours planning and recording an amazing project for the internet, only to get home and discover <laughs> the audio sucks. Now, you may be making YouTube videos as a side hustle. Maybe you want to start a podcast with your friends. Maybe you're a local mom and pop bakery and uh, you want to make one minute Instagram videos to you know, engage with your tribe and capture some new clients and customers. Or you know, maybe you work at a, at a corporation in HR or marketing and your boss is like, hey, you should be making some LinkedIn videos for us so we can you know, do some better sales. Whatever the reason, you know that if you're producing content for the internet, we we will forgive low quality video as long as we can clearly hear what someone is saying, but we never forgive poor audio. The digital space is noisy and crowded and it's getting more so every day. The average attention span of someone on the internet right now browsing social media is like three seconds. And if you should be so lucky to capture their attention, you cannot afford to have bad audio. And you shouldn't have to just because you didn't spend four years of your life and $100,000 getting an audio engineering degree. If your audio is garbled or distorted, if it's echoey or far away, people are just gonna turn that off and move to the next thing. Welcome to Audio 101 for Content Creators. where you're gonna spend four hours, not four years, and a hundred bucks, not a hundred grand, to learn the basics of audio. But who am I and why am I the one telling you this? So my name is Brian Miller. Professionally, I'm a former magician. That's right, I said magician. I spent nearly 10 years traveling the world as a corporate and high-end exclusive event entertainer. And don't get me wrong, it was a lot of fun. But then I gave a TEDx talk that went viral called How to Magically Connect with Anyone, and it launched me into a new career as an author, a speaker, and a consultant on human connection. So what does that have to do with audio? Well, way before any of that stuff, I actually went to school for audio engineering. Now, I didn't finish, in fact, I dropped it after a year, but audio is a lifelong passion. And for the first time in my life, my professional career and my passion have melded. Because the surest way to connect with someone in the digital age is the voice. The human voice is intimate, it's warm, it's friendly, it conveys emotion in a way that video just doesn't quite do. I'm not saying you should be producing audio-only content. I'm saying whether you're producing video or audio-exclusive content, the audio is the most important part because it's what connects you with the audience. But audio is scary for people, and I understand that. It's not intuitive. And in this course, we're gonna break it down very, very simply. We're gonna start right at square one looking at different types of microphones. Which ones are better for your voice, your project, your environment, and your budget. In fact, everything in this course is budget independent. No matter what budget you're on, no matter what gear you have or what gear you may be interested in getting, everything I teach you is going to apply because we're gonna look at strategies and principles that are evergreen. This course will be an investment in the future. After we look at different types of microphones, we're gonna take a look at how different environments affect audio so you can optimize your recording space. We're gonna look at different ways to record audio, uh, right from your phone or from a pocket camera, all the way up to portable digital recorders and high-end audio interfaces that plug right into computers. We're gonna learn how to sync up external audio with video so that you never have to worry about getting crystal clear audio again. Then we're gonna dive into the computer to take a look at editing techniques to make sure that your editing is natural, smooth, and efficient. There's a huge portion of this course on EQ or equalization, how you can use any free EQ plugin that you can find to take care of common audio problems like wind noise, low end rumble, voice sounds too harsh, voice sounds too muddy, voice sounds too nasally, 
Anything like that that you're used to having to deal with, you're gonna learn how to do. And after this, it's gonna be a breeze to clean up that audio no matter what conditions you were in. And finally, at the very end of this course, we're gonna learn how to level out our audio so that all of it stays at a consistent volume and people don't have to be turning up and turning down that volume while they're listening because you know, I know, there is nothing more frustrating than having to crank that volume up and down. We turn that video off. We turn that podcast off if it becomes an annoyance and you don't wanna do that to anybody. I'm so excited to finally put this course into the world. Audio is such a passion of mine and in the digital world, really you can't afford for it not to be a passion of yours. Plus, as time goes on, I'm going to continue building out this course with additional resources, bonus features, PDF downloads, and eventually the plan is to have an exclusive forum for all of you to connect with each other, support each other, and take a look at each other's stuff. A peer-to-peer -peer network of people just like you enrolled in the same journey as you to help each other, to support each other as accountability partners. And of course, I would be occasionally popping in there as well to help with anything else you might need. So I hope you'll consider joining us. My name is Brian Miller. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in Audio 101 for content creators.